Hello, my name is Joachim, and in this video I'll be showing you my up vector shader, which I use in this environment to get some variety. Basically what we're after is to give object mass when their surface is facing upwards. So let's take a minute and watch this wooden fence rotate when I hit enter. As you can see, when the surface is facing upwards, we do get mass in the defined places. The same thing goes for other objects in the world, like trees for example. So let's take a minute and look at the shader network. So there's quite a few nodes here as you can see. If we didn't want the mass effect, we would only use these two nodes, the diffuse map and the normal map. But let's start from the bottom here and try to understand how we can apply mass into the shader. This node is the most crucial one. It tells the shader which vector we want to apply mass to. In this case, we want the up vector, which in UDK is C. We then multiply the up vector with the object's world position to get a variety when two fences stand next to each other. But this step is not crucial to get the shader result. To get a more convincing or strong result, we multiply our vector, which we masked out with a constant value of 8. The mass texture's alpha channel, which in pixels define where mass should appear, will be multiplied with our vector, but before we can do this, we have to clamp the values between 0 and 1. We then lerp the result as alpha with our diffuse and normal map. Diffuse here, and normal map here. But we also need a B input into the lerp, so let's take a look at these nodes, which together make a mask for the mass. We multiply a grayscale image, in our case the diffuse red channel, with the object's vertex colors. We then invert the values with a 1 minus node and add the vertex colors once again before we clamp them. We then multiply our mass mask with our mass diffuse texture and send the result into the lerp. The result of the lerps will be the diffuse and normal outputs. That was all. Thank you for watching. Bye.